concussion care for athletes with disabilities. Layla is a wheelchair basketball player with cerebral palsy who sustained a concussion 24 hours ago when colliding into her teammate during practice. Her coach informed her that she had no loss of consciousness and she was removed from the basketball court immediately. She presents to your clinic for the first time reporting a range of symptoms, including dizziness, blurred vision, and feeling not quite right. Upon testing in your clinic, she has weakness in her legs bilaterally, and she is only able to stand for very limited periods due to her spastic diplegia. Given the wide range of impairments that athletes with a disability have, baseline concussion testing is crucial to understanding more about each athlete's pre-injury status. Symptoms that athletes present to clinic with may be pre-existing, and these need to be considered in the medical decision-making process to give an athlete with pre-existing disability the best chance of recovering from concussion. Any patient with pre-existing disability poses a unique challenge in the clinical setting, and taking a comprehensive subjective history is essential. If the athlete is not already known to you, this will allow you to identify which impairments may be pre-existing for them and which are newly acquired following their injury. Research involving soccer players with a disability, blind and cerebral palsy players, in the United Kingdom has shown that neurocognitive baselines of these athletes differ to those without a disability, and this needs to be factored into any assessment post-concussion. Wherever you have access to these baselines, use these to provide context for your assessment. In the example of Layla, many symptoms she reported are all new for her. However, her bilateral leg weakness and reduced standing ability and balance have been chronic. The first position statement of the Concussion in Parasport group provides guidance with regard to concussion assessment in athletes with pre-existing disability and contains examples of adapting clinical assessments post-concussion to match the needs of the individual athlete. Any subjective questioning should specifically ask about any change from baseline, rather than the mere presence of a symptom. Innovative tests have also been created to assist concussion assessment in athletes with a prior disability. The Wheelchair Error Scoring System, WESS, provides an alternative balance test and allows a clinician to obtain quantitative data on the balance and postural stability of wheelchair users. While Layla may not have baseline WESS data when she presents to your clinic, this is an objective marker that you can trend over interval assessments to monitor evolution or resolution of Layla's symptoms post-injury and grade her return to play. Given there are no return to sport processes that are specific to athletes with spastic diplegia, optimal management for Layla should use the existing return to sport strategy from the concussion and sport group with some selected adaptations. Clinicians should consider whether Layla may need a longer interval period of physical or cognitive rest prior to returning to basketball, given that she already has a history of central nervous system alteration. If Layla is a manual wheelchair user, then assistance with propulsion of her wheelchair could be needed to conserve her energy while she remains symptomatic. Facilitating her wheelchair transfers may also be a short-term strategy that supports Layla if transfers remain challenging or provoke worsening of symptoms. The wide presentation of impairments that may be present in the athlete with pre-existing disability means clinicians need to use a flexible approach to their assessment and management. Employing existing concussion assessment tools for mainstream athletes, for example, the SCAT-6, allied to clinical reasoning related to the athlete's condition, and in some cases, bespoke adjustments specific to the impairment of each athlete, is the approach of choice for this population. To learn more about concussion in this population and to feel more comfortable with concussion assessment and management in athletes with a pre-existing disability, please see the course resources.